Yo, and uh, welcome to Cheap Baby Views. Uh, today we have one I found down in my little uh, uh, Eastern European shop. It's the Balka, Baltica, Gold Pale Lager 5.3. It does knock then. Um, Baltic number no. 5 is a premium beer which combines long standing brewing traditions and advanced technologies. Doesn't say anything on the back. Uh, basic, what I make of this beer, it's, see, it's the technology there. Yay! We used to have these on, on the turbo hooks back in Denmark. The bottles were of plastic and you always cut your finger on these. Um, another fun story, people would chase each other down the street and try to knock each other out with it because they weren't thinking it was plastic. It, but it was just a fucking horrible place, um, that town. Doesn't matter. Let's try and pour it. So yeah, I just wanted to get this beer review in before tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to a wedding. And I'm the best man. So uh, I will be somewhat well behaved. Um, this also explained my uh, flash new haircut and my trimmed beard. People generally prefer their best man not to look like a homeless person. So uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to do my very best tomorrow, because he deserves that. I'm, I'm going to be... I'm gonna really, really be there for him, as I should be, even though if it wasn't the best man, but yeah, now I am, so I'm gonna give it that little bit extra um, gentlemanticity. All right, so yeah, they say it's the pills. This is the color of the pills. This bubbles just like a pills, this is a pills. What do I think about it? It's a pills. I I have I have no strong words towards or against it. I I am I am the neutral fraction from Futurama. Um, if I was married before I die, please tell my. Or what is it? If I die, please tell my wife hello. That is this beer. Um, it's. Um, it's not a strong lager. You can get lagers that are stronger than others, but it, it's a very mellow lager, which I like. It's um, less carb less carbonized than other lagers I have. So if this is if this is just like a um, Baltica lager, if this is a standard, I, I, I spoke to um, I spoke to the girl down there. Uh, Initiate, initiate the charm and that didn't work, but I spoke to her anyway, and she said this is a pretty common beer um, In the Baltic, I, I don't know. I haven't been but if this is if this is their pretty common beer, then um, I'm pretty sure the pubs in the UK can piss right off with their fosters and their carlings and, and Stuff because this is this is better than the two before mentioned What I must say is it, it has is a little bit sweeter than other lagers I had, um, which is necessarily not a good thing or a bad thing. It's it's a thing definitely. Um, I, I know I've done a lot of base model stuff the last couple of times, and I haven't really really gone flat out on, on the special stuff, but that's because I'm struggling to find it. And when I read on the I read on the bottle before to make sure there wasn't fucking passion fruit or some shit in it. Um, when when I read um, Smooth Taste with Subdue Bitterness and a delicious caramel flavour where the sweetness comes from and what, 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 what intrigued me was the um, a combined long-standing brewing tradition with advanced technology and I basically just thought of somebody having a old shitbox Gixer and then they put then they would like turbo the fuck out of it and run it on the, the best, most hardcore uh, ECU you could get so you could make silly horsepower um, on something that had silly horsepower for its handling um, when it was new. Uh, so basically make something mad madder, something that you had a bigger problem controlling, even more uncontrollable. Um, uh, the actually know the guy who did that. 
but yeah, it's um, it, it it is. I don't know what the modern technology in this is. Um, they might have put nano robots in it so the, the government can track my every movement and my thoughts, or they could have just used I don't know push through nano filters instead of normal filters to filtrate it. I I don't know. I'm hoping for the last one. Ah, if I got a tinfoil hat next time, you know why. Um, but yeah, it's um, this is basically what it says. It's the Baltic 5 at 5.3%, and that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it 5.3. You, you, you're more than welcome to do your own research on it, or your own taste on it, but it's, it's pretty common in the Eastern European shops, apparently so. I haven't seen it in the other one I go in, but I've seen it in the one I went in today. Uh, because I went on a mission, I needed to return something from Amazon and finding a post office that returns where I live is basically like finding a person with all their teeth. It, it's hard, it takes a long time, but I managed in the end. So, anyway, I'm going to finish this one and then, yeah, 5.3 on the scale. Anyway, that will be all for now because I'm sitting in my living room and it's still about 1100 degrees in here, so I don't know what to do. I'm going to go take a cold shower or something. Have a good one. See you later. Ta-ta.